How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Contour Air Fitness. In today's video, I'm giving you guys four quick tips to help you with the Assault Air Bike. Now for those lucky individuals that have these at your gym, you know how much these suck and how much these can get very hard very quick. So with these four tips, I'm very confident it's going to help up your game and make you more efficient and become better at the exercise. Tip number one is a very simple one and that is adjusting the seat height to the correct height for you. So when we're pressing down on those pedals, we'll make sure that our leg does not get to the locked out position and does not stay in a very excessively bent position. When we press all the way down on that pedal, we'll make sure that our knee still stays slightly bent. This will allow you to still apply a lot of force but without putting too much pressure on your knee. For tip number two, we're gonna watch our RPMs. Our RPM stands for revolutions per minute of the wheel on the bike. And we'll make sure this isn't getting too high or too low based on what our goals are. So for example, let's say your goal is to do a 15 second, 20 second, 30 second sprint on the bike, or maybe just do a short uh, sprint of calories. So whether your workout has five calories in it, 10 calories in your goals to get there as fast as possible. If that's the case, you can kind of have your RPMs go towards the higher end and see what high end is for you. But once you get consistent with the bike, you kind of know what your RPMs are. So if I know if I'm going for a sprint, I want to aim for maybe 80, 90, 100 RPMs. Or if I'm going for a longer distance, so if I'm going for 50 calories in a workout, or I have to be on the bike for five minutes for a warm up, I might keep it on the lower end, around 45 or 50 RPMs. So the next few times you're on the bike, pay attention to what your RPMs are at and see what's a slow, a moderate, and a fast pace for you individually. Tip number three is trying to stay in line as much as possible and keep from swaying side to side. Just like when you're running, you don't want to waste any energy going side to side, you want to keep everything going forward. The handles and the pedals both move forward and back, so you want to make sure you're applying force directly forward. Don't sway side to side and try to think the more shake and the more power you're putting into the, into the handles and the pedals, you're going to get more out of it. Tip number four is make sure you have nice upright posture on that bike. A lot of us will tend to lean too far excessively forward and get too close to the handles and that will end up shortening, shortening our push and pull. So make sure you're staying nice and upright, getting a nice long pull and a nice long press with each hand every single time, putting more power into the bike. Alright guys, those are my four quick tips for the assault bike. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. Subscribe for plenty more videos and we'll see you guys next time.